to Jeremy TV. In today's video, I'm super excited because I have for you guys a complete study guide, questions and answers for your driver's examination. Although this is part one. If you want part two, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload it. So without saying no more, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and also leave your feedback because it's really, really appreciated. Thank you and let's get started. If you park your vehicle on a hill or downhill slope with a curb, you should do so as follow. Position the front tires towards the curb, the emergency brake, put the transmission in park and then turn off the vehicle. A roundabout is a circular intersection with no traffic signals. You should know if there are no vehicles at the roundabout, you may enter without yielding and drivers entering the roundabout must yield two vehicles already traveling through the roundabout. A red arrow pointing right on a traffic light means that you you cannot turn in that direction until the light turns green. You are driving on a residential road and you are approaching an intersection controlled by a four-way stop. You should know if the vehicles arrive at approximately the same time, each driver must yield to the driver on the right. Vehicles proceed to the intersection in the order they arrived at. The first vehicle to reach the intersection must go first. What is the first thing to do when doing a three-point lap? Signal your left turn, then check carefully for oncoming traffic. You are approaching an intersection with a green light and you want to turn right, but first you must Check if there is any sign that forbids it. What should you do if you hear a siren nearby but can't see where the emergency vehicle is? You must safely pull over to the right side of the road. This sign means two-way traffic. A school bus has stopped up ahead on your side of the road and its red lights are on. What should you do? Stop while the red light is flashing. Slow down just to see an accident. Construction on the road or disable vehicle on the side of the road all cause traffic congestion. This sign means don't turn left. Driving slowly with traffic in the left last lane on any highway can definitely frustrate other drivers and make them angry. What is the meaning of this signal? Yield. Every time you prepare to drive before starting the engine of your parked vehicle, you must make sure that the car is in park, P for park or natural.
you try to change lanes and see a vehicle approaching from the rear. When you check your mirror to change lanes, you no longer see the vehicle. You must look over your shoulder to make sure the vehicle is not in your blind spot. What does this sign mean? Do not enter if your vehicle is taller than the height indicated on the sign. You have just entered a freeway entrance ramp. You must check for any empty space to enter traffic and flash your lights to indicate your turn. Before you cross any railroad track, if you have to stop your vehicle, you must make sure there is room for your vehicle on the other side. You are driving in the right lane of a multi-lane highway and in front of you is a car moving from side to side. What should you do? You should slow down a bit so you don't have to pass that car. How are the blind spots around a large commercial vehicle different from the blind spots around a car? Your blind spots are larger. It takes a car longer to pass them. After passing another car, it is safe to return to your lane when you see the tires or headlights of the car you passed in the rear view mirror. At an intersection with a traffic light and a yellow arrow on at the same time as a green light means that the vehicles moving in that direction of the arrow should stop if they can because the arrow soon will turn red. This sign means do not enter a road or ramp where this sign is displayed. So if you see the sign, do not enter. Before pulling out of a parking space, what should you do? Signal your intention to leave your space and also check in your side mirrors that you do not see any vehicles or pedestrians. This sign means you must turn left on a green light when it is safe. A load that overhangs the sides of a vehicle more than 4 feet 1.2 meters behind the rear must be clearly marked during the day with red flags at least 18 inches square to mark the ends of the load of the traffic signs that appear which of them indicates a u-turn is prohibited take a look What is the maximum distance that can be parked with respect to the curb or sidewalk? 12 inches. Which lane should you use when passing another vehicle? Turning left or driving faster? Use the left lane. What should you do 
if you're blinded by the headlights of an oncoming vehicle. Look at the right edge of your lane until they pass. What is road rage? How should I avoid being involved in a road rage incident? Well, avoid making eye contact with the aggressive driver and also ignore the gestures and shouts and do not reciprocate. Of the traffic signs that appear, which of them indicates that drivers may lose control if you leave the pavement? You're ready to drive your car. You must put on your seat belt. with the lap belt snug above the hip. If you're involved in a minor accident and your vehicle is blocking the road, you should try to move it off the road. When you drive with the window open, You definitely must not lean your elbow on the window. When you have properly adjusted your vehicle's interior, rear view mirror, and exterior mirrors, you must remember that you will still have blind spots near the sides and rear corners of your vehicle that cannot be seen. Of the traffic signs that appear, which of them indicates that the road has a sharp curve to the left? How should you use the brake on a slippery road? Depress the brake by pumping slowly and evenly. After passing a large vehicle, what should you do before returning to the large vehicle's lane? You make sure you can see the entire front of the vehicle before returning to your lane after you pass it. Of the traffic signs that appear, which of them indicates a slow moving car? When there is fog, rain, or snowfall, you must keep the lights low. You drive on a dry road and it starts to rain. You must Reduce the speed and double the normal stopping distance. When attempting to park your vehicle on a hill or incline on a two-way road with no curb or sidewalk, you must park as follow. Point the front wheels to the right, followed by the emergency brake, put the transmission in P park, and then turn the vehicle off. What should you do when another vehicle passes you on the left? You slow down slightly and stay in the center of your lane. Of the signs that appear below, which of them indicates that you have to give another way to other vehicles. Every time you prepare to drive before starting the engine, 
of your parked vehicle, you must make sure that the car is in P parked or neutral. Driving down a main avenue, you see a vehicle approaching from behind. When you check your mirror to change lanes, you no longer see the vehicle. You must look over your shoulder to make sure that the vehicle is not in your blind spot. What does this sign mean? Do not enter if your vehicle is taller than the indicated height on the sign. You have just entered a freeway entrance ramp. You must. Check for an empty space to enter traffic and flash your lights to indicate your turn. Before crossing any railroad track, you must make sure that there is enough space for your vehicle on the other side. Any driver, bicyclist, or pedestrian approaching a highway or railroad crossing must stop within 50 feet. 15 meters. You're driving in the right lane of a multi-lane highway, and in front of you is a car moving from side to side. What should you do? You slow down a bit so you don't even have to pass that car. If there are no speed limit signs, what is the maximum speed you can legally drive in the city? You can drive at a speed without accidents. In most cases, on which side can you pass another vehicle going in the same direction? Usually to the left. Of the traffic signals that appear below, which of them indicates that you must stop behind the pedestrian line? You're driving on a highway. You must remember that the greatest dangers on highways are rear end car collisions from driving too closely. Of the traffic signs that appear, which of them indicates a double curve? An intersection has crosswalk lines, but no stop lines. Where should you stop for a red light at that intersection? Before the crosswalk line. Can you stop to load your unload passengers at a no standing or no parking sign? Yes, you can only temporarily to load or unload passengers the driver cannot get out of the vehicle any driver under the age of 18 will accumulate six or more point violations within a 12 month period is restricted for one year to driving for business purposes only You may drive off a paved highway to pass another vehicle under no circumstances. 
of the traffic signs that appear, which of them indicates that there is a narrow bridge soon. On which of these conditions does your blood alcohol content, BAC, depend? Depends on how much alcohol do you drink or how much time goes by between those drinks. Does driving within the range of your headlights mean you can stop your vehicle in less than 350 feet? Of the traffic signs that appear below, which of them indicates that a traffic control light is approaching? You can't be arrested for any of these driving offenses. For driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. And for driving with a blood alcohol content of 0.08. While driving on a highway, if one of your tires is punctured after you regain control and slow down, you should brake smoothly and leave the pavement completely. If you're going to drive on a highway, you must Plan your trip. You must know exactly where you will enter and where you will exit. Of the traffic signals that appear, which of them prohibits you from turning at a red light? You are ready to exit the freeway, so you should begin to slow down as soon as you exit the freeway and are on an exit ramp. Of the traffic signs that appear below, which of them indicates that it is a zone for not passing another car? You drive an automatic transmission vehicle when parking on a hill, you must Apply the emergency brakes before placing the transmission in park. When parking an uphill vehicle on the right side of a road where there is no curb or sidewalk, you must place the front wheels pointing to the right. If you park your vehicle on a hill or uphill slope with a curb, you should do so as follows. Position the front tires out, left, the emergency brake, put the transmission in P park, and then turn off the vehicle. While driving on a multi-lane highway and see this diamond-shaped traffic sign, it means that the lane is reserved for certain vehicles such as buses or passenger vehicles for rush hour. The driver's seat of your vehicle must be positioned properly. Before you can reach the controls, you must verify the position of the seat. Every time you prepare to drive. Of the traffic signs that appear, which of them indicates that the drivers should keep to the right? When approaching another vehicle from behind at night, you have to dim your high beams to 500 feet from the other vehicle. If you are driving on a highway, and when you try to exit, you miss the exit ramp, what should you do? Continue to the next exit. 
which of these signs that appear indicates a winding road. Lots of curves. You are driving on a multi-lane highway with a single solid white line painted between the lanes. You must Avoid changing lanes unless it is to avoid an accident. If you see a bicyclist on the road ahead with their left arm extended straight out, you should assume that that bicyclist is signaling to change to the left lane or turn. You are approaching an intersection where you want to turn, but you are not in the correct lane. You should drive to the next intersection and make the turn from the correct lane. Of the traffic signs that appear, which of them indicates speed reduction ahead? You are driving on a slippery highway and your vehicle begins to skid to the right edge. You must take your foot off the accelerator and steer in the direction where you are skidding even if it means going off the road. Any driver who is stopped by a police officer and found to have a BAC of 0.08 or higher at the time of arrest its driving privilege will be suspended. When you have properly parked your vehicle in a front parking space No part of your vehicle should exit into a lane of traffic. This sign means school crossing ahead. When you drive in rain, fog or smoke during the day, you should turn on the low beams 